Everybody, how's it going? Swag Kage here, and uh, today we have come back to TierMaker.com, and as I'm sure everybody can already tell, uh, I am going to be ranking the various jutsu shown throughout the series. Now, um, just so we're clear, as with the villains tier list, I made this template all by myself, and uh, I just want to make sure everybody knows that because I'm anticipating a few, oh wow, another tier list video swag, <laughs> lazy content uh, comment, when uh, it actually took me the better part of two or three days t just to get all of these scans and, you know, properly crop them, organize them. So, you know, uh, I'm pretty proud of this template, and uh, a few other things I want to get out of the way first. Uh, these are all organized chronologically. Um, not that important, but I guess it'll help everybody identify what jutsu is what. So if it appeared earlier in the series, it'll be closer to the top left here, and if it appeared later, it'll be closer to the bottom right. Uh, finally, I'm not going to be ranking the jutsu based on how powerful they are, but instead based on how much I like them. And, uh, yeah, I think that's everything, so let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, the first one here is the transformation jutsu, and it doesn't have, like, a serious swag factor or anything like that, but I do think it's cool enough just because it, it's it's like a pretty basic utility jutsu, but it's one of the first, it's actually the first ninjutsu we see in the whole series, and it tells us a little bit about the world of Naruto, and is also used pretty well in the first chapter, right, like when um, Mizuki transforms into Iruka, and Iruka transforms into Naruto, and they have their like 4 billion IQ interaction there, that is pretty neat, so yeah, transformation jutsu can go into B. Uh, sexy jutsu is going into A, not only because it's really funny, but um, also because it gives us a, a neat amount of insight into Naruto's character, because we're told that he sucks at everything and he has no jutsu skill at all, but uh, then, as we can see, he's able to pull off a really detailed, unique transformation jutsu that clearly took a lot of work and skill, but uh, he just it, it just seems like he doesn't apply himself well enough to be a good ninja in other areas. Um, now, Shadow Clone Jutsu is going to be the only jutsu in S tier for a long time. Uh, I love this jutsu. I talked about it in my top five Naruto jutsu video, which by the way, you should not watch. That video is terrible and bad because it's so old. Uh, a thousand years of death. Um, I don't know if it's funny enough to go in A, but a lot of people, uh, right, whatever. I'll put it in A. I might drag it down to B. Substitution jutsu. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It can go in B. Fireball Jutsu is really cool, especially the first time I saw it, so uh, it is getting stuck in A tier. And uh, the Sharingan... So I think the Sharingan is really cool, but I don't know if I like it enough to put it in S tier, right? So, hmm. I might actually move the Transformation Jutsu and Substitution Jutsu down and move the Sexy Jutsu and thousand years of death to be. We'll have to see how this uh, how this tier list forms. Um, I really like these two, but you know, I, I don't know. I want A tier to feel meaningful, and uh, mostly because I want S tier to feel meaningful. So yeah, um, hidden miss jutsu can go into B. It is pretty neat. Not Zabuza's coolest jutsu, but I like it well enough. Water prison. I also really like, if only because it put a handicap on Zabuza, a really interesting one in his fight against Kakashi, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, where he was able to capture Kakashi, who is by far the most threatening member of the enemy team, but he was forced to stay in place afterwards and couldn't use one of his hands. This was really interesting because he was so much stronger than Naruto and Sasuke that even with this severe handicap, he was able to give them a lot of trouble, and they were barely able to get Kakashi out of the water prison. And even though they struggled like crazy to get Zabuza just to move his arm, it was still treated as though what they did was really impressive, so, you know. Uh, I don't know if I like it enough to put it in A, but it's definitely a cool enough jutsu. Uh, so when I was a kid, I probably would put Water Dragon in A, but, um, I don't know. Enough characters use it later on in the series that it just sort of starts to feel pretty standard. Giant Vortex Jutsu can probably go in B as well. Uh, I really like Crystal Ice Mirrors, though. This is, aside from the Sharingan, I guess the first Kekai Genkai we see. And uh, it's a really cool one, too, because Sasuke can't even melt it with the Fireball Jutsu, even though it's like ice and Haku can travel between the mirrors and just beats up Naruto and Sasuke. I like it a lot. Raikiri is definitely going into A tier, right? Like, I'm... <laughs> I will not hear otherwise. Uh, it's always been cool. It was cool when it was first used, 
and it is still cool like 20 years later i almost want to put it up in the s tier but i don't think it's that cool so yeah it can chill out in a for a little bit uh, Dragon Flame Jutsu I'll put in C because like it was awesome watching Sasuke melt Orochimaru's face off and everything but it doesn't feel that different from the Fireball Jutsu so I, I, I wouldn't even feel comfortable putting it in B. Primary Lotus I want to put it in A but it didn't really do anything right like Gara tanked it dosu tanked it and so even though it looks really cool especially the version that Lee uses on Gara where he like kicks him up into the air a whole bunch uh, I, I, I don't feel comfortable putting it as high as A, so it's, it's gonna chill out on B for a little bit. Human Boulder, um, I do recognize the intended appeal of this jutsu, and it is kind of funny that, like, Choji's gimmick from the get-go is that he's fat, and his jutsu at first just makes him even fatter, right? This, like, exaggerated, fat, round ball of a person is what he turns into, and he sucks his head into his jacket and starts spinning around so fast that he turned into a ball. Like, it's so ridiculous that you can't not think it's at least a little funny. But is it as cool as Water Dragon Jutsu? Does it tell us as much about Choji as the sexy Jutsu does about Naruto? Probably not. So I think I'm going to put it in C tier. Shadow Possession Jutsu on its own, though, isn't like the coolest jutsu in the series but the way shikamaru uses it is just consistently one of the most entertaining things like ever mind transfer jutsu is a cool jutsu in theory but it is heavily underutilized so if it were given to a character with more screen time who used it more effectively than Eno did i'd put it in a but because Eno doesn't really do anything with it, the whole series, it's got to go and be. Me Actually, maybe even C tier. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put it in C. Dosu's Sound Genjutsu is awesome. Uh, I just think Dosu in general is really, really cool. But it, it's super underexplored, right? So I can't put it in A, but I'm, I don't have any problem sticking it in B. Slicing Soundwave is like, so I like the idea of somebody taking sound and just amping it up like crazy to the point that they are able to create like harmful projectile blasts with just sound. But it's even more underexplored than Dosu's Jutsu is. And at the end of the day, it's it's basically just like a featureless Dragon Ball Z attack. Like, yeah, it's said to be caused by sound or whatever, right? Like, it, it's said that sound is an integral part of the jutsu. But if you showed me this and I didn't know anything about Naruto and you told me that this guy was just like using like an energy blast or whatever, I'd just be like, oh, okay. So it's just like a generic attack. And if you were like, yeah, I would have no reason not to believe. So because of that, I think I'm gonna stick it in. The Byakugan is cool enough to go in A, but it's underutilized enough to go in B. So I'm, I'm gonna be nice because I know a lot of people like Neji and the Hyuga and the Byakugan. I'm gonna be nice and say that the Byakugan can chill out with the other big boys in A, but it's barely, barely hanging on in A tier, okay? I'm really close to putting it in B. I almost want to make an A- minus or a B plus to stick it in, but it, for now, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it in A tier. The Curse Mark is an S tier Jutsu. I want to say it's an easy S, but I don't know if it is because I... I I'm really close to putting it in A tier with all of these guys, but I think I have to stick it in S. And I know that, like, if you really just drill it down, it's nothing more than, like, a generic anime power-up, right? Like, as far as its mechanics are concerned. But the thing is, this power-up comes at a steep cost because no matter how you want to spin it, it is because of this that Sasuke goes to Orochimaru in search of power. Whether you think the curse mark, like literally directly altered his mind or put like subconscious thoughts in his head that led him to train with Orochimaru or whether you think that the power up he received from it was substantial enough that this is what drove him to seek Orochimaru's help it doesn't matter 
There's no way you can argue that this, on its own, isn't responsible for Sasuke uh, seeking Orochimaru's tutelage. And that's a huge series plot point. Sasuke leaving the Leaf Village changes everything. Not to mention, like I said, it does look really cool no matter which version of the curse mark you're using. It also felt super sinister and mysterious before its mechanics and its origins were explained to the audience. So, yeah, I, I feel pretty confident with this S-tier placement. Uh, Sand Coffin. I want to give the A tier, but yeah, yeah, Sand Coffin is going in A tier. Um, Sand Burial, I don't even know why I put it in here, because it's just sort of the same thing as Sand Coffin. See, I don't want A tier to look super overpopulated, and I don't know if I want to put... I'm going to stick this at the bottom here, and if I decide to put it in later, it'll go in. Um, I don't even remember this guy's name. Yoroi, yeah, that's what his name is, Yoroi. His chakra absorption ability is, like... So at the time, I thought it was pretty cool. And it sounded dangerous and all that. But, like, nobody ever uses this jutsu ever again. And it's, like, superseded by the Renegon's ability to absorb jutsu later on. So, yeah, this, this doesn't even belong in C tier. Definitely gonna have to stick it down in D. Um, Lion's Barrage, I thought, was neat, so it's gonna be. Shino's Parasitic Insects Jutsu is also really cool. I want to put it in A because I like Shino, especially in Part 1, but it's not that cool. So, B, I think, is where it belongs. I, I thought the Puppet Master Jutsu was pretty interesting when I first saw it, but there are other Jutsu used by Puppet Masters on this list that are way cooler than the regular Puppet Master Jutsu, and... Kankuro sucks and is lame, and his whole thing that he's a puppet master, it, like, he's just so much worse at it than Sasori and Chio that, like, why is he even still in the series after the first arc of Shippuden? I, I think Man Beast Clone is really cool. Um, in part one especially, I think Kiba was, um, awesome. Um, well, I don't know if he was awesome, right? I don't think he was, like, top ten part one characters, but I respected him enough, and I really liked his skill set, but... Like, like, a lot of people I saw in their tier list put it, like, way down here. I, I don't think it, I don't think it's, like, even fair to put it in C tier. Um, I thought Kiba being, like, one with nature and being, like, a borderline animal was, like, really interesting. And so, like, the thing about this jutsu is that Akamaru is transforming into a person while Kiba adopts the attitude of an animal. So they're sort of like meeting each other halfway. I don't know if I'm explaining it properly, but I, I, I just, I really like it. And um, Fang over Fang is sort of the same thing, but whatever. Like, I, I guess it's redundant, but I'll stick it in B2. Uzumaki Barrage is lame, dude. This was the dumbest thing ever. Naruto was just like, so he saw Sasuke's Lion's Barrage and he was like, I want to do my own thing. And he just like gets a bunch of shadow clones and beats Kiba up and calls it his own jutsu. Oh, okay, it's not F tier, but it doesn't even belong in C. It's lame. Especially because there's another Naruto Uzumaki Barrage in these jutsu that's so much cooler than this one that like I, I can't even put it in C tier. It doesn't belong there. Eight Gates easy A tier. Some people are going to tell me that it deserves to be an S tier. I like it, but I don't like it. I, I, I like the idea of the A gates, but I don't like it that much. Um, I want to put Hidden Lotus in S tier, but maybe I will. I might come back and drag this up into S, but not. Nah. You know what? You know what? Hidden Lotus can go into S tier. That's fine. I'll give Lee one thing. Summoning Jutsu is an easy B. Um, it has a lot of utility throughout the series. It's used by plenty of characters. Uh, just, just because of, like, the inherent design of the jutsu, it allows for a lot of variety, even between multiple people all using it. Uh, it, it allows them to, to have, like, a lot of self-expression, um, and it never gets, like, stale, right? Like, if any other jutsu were used by as many people as the summoning jutsu, it would start to feel like lame, but uh, not this, because you can summon so many different kinds of creatures. It's such a cool jutsu, but I, I don't know if, it, you know, no, it'll, it, it goes in A. I think it belongs in A. Eight trigrams palm rotation is a nice looking shield, but that's all I really have to say about it. 64 palms is like one of my like top five favorite jutsu ever, though. It's so cool to look at. Neji just beats the crap out of the fuck. 64 Palms is one of my, like, top five favorite jutsu in the series, though. It's so cool to look at. 
Neji just thrashes whoever's on the receiving end of this attack. But he doesn't even come off as like a meathead brute or anything while he does it. It's so graceful and precise. Like, ah, oh man, they, they're, like, there's so much to like about this jutsu, dude. It's awesome. Uh, Wind Scythe jutsu is another B. I think this is probably going to be the most heavily populated tier. Shidori is another A. I know it's the same thing as Lightning Blade. I probably shouldn't have even put it on the list. Well, like, as far as the series is concerned, it's slightly different, right? But, like, like for something like this, it's pretty much the same thing, especially if they both end up in the same tier. But... Um, I, I don't know. I, I'd feel weird including one and not the other because, like, there are distinctions made between the two of them, but whatever. They're both in tier A. For Crimson Rays formation, you can go into B. Edo Tensei, though, you can go into S tier. Especially for, like, like the first time we see Orochimaru use this jutsu. Man, it makes him feel so powerful. Like, so deadly. Um, it, It's also such, like, a... The jutsu just, like, feels inherently like evil do i know we find out later that like toby rama created it or whatever but the first person we see use it is orochimaru and it fits him so well because he already has this like divine larger than life aura about him and then we just see him revive the first two hokage from the dead to fight heroes in deep forest emergence um hmm I thought it was cool that Hashirama could summon trees and stuff, but, like, even when I was a kid and I was super prone to just liking a jutsu because it looked neat and nothing else, I was just like, well, eh. Like, he did just fill up that whole barrier, but who cares? So, um, I do like it more now, but... I've never been super fond of it. Uh, again, it's not bad, but I don't think it's cool enough to put an A. Orochimaru's body-stealing jutsu. Uh, hmm... It's not as cool as any of these, but I don't know if it belongs in B. I'll leave it in B for now. Maybe I'll move it. Probably won't. I, I don't feel good about it, but I also wouldn't feel good putting it in A tier. Reaper Death Seal is uh, probably an easy A tier jutsu. It's really cool. Uzumaki 2K Barrage goes in A tier. And I, I want to put it in B tier, but nah. I think it's swag enough to, to throw into A here. Kuranai's Genjutsu is going to be the first one that goes in F. Just because, like, why even make her a Genjutsu specialist if you're gonna make her first opponent Itachi? He just flips the Jutsu around on her and then uses one that's, like, the same thing but infinitely cooler. I think Kuranai is cool, right? Like, she's she's got a neat personality and uh, her design is nice as well. But, like, what was Kishimoto thinking making her a like, like I said, like, why would you put her against Genjutsu Jesus, like, before, before you show her fighting anyone else, and then make her specialty Genjutsu? I don't understand. Itachi's exploding clone is A, and Sukuyomi is S. Don't even think I have to explain that. Uh, the, so, some people are gonna be mad at me for putting Jiraiya's, like, toad belly or whatever, this jutsu is called in C tier, but I don't know. I never thought it was that cool. Having Kick of Pain, another C tier, right? I don't even know why it's a named jutsu. It's just Tsunade being really strong. And, like, if it was, like, a unique thing where, like, Tsunade amps herself up using Chakra and you can clearly see it and it's, like, not a regular thing for her to do, then I'd probably put it in B, but it's just her kicking. It's not even her kicking like comparatively that hard like to to her, like when compared to her other attacks it's just her kicking rasengan belongs in a with uh chidori and raikiri um my totic regeneration i think is a fair a as well well mm, yeah i i think it it belongs in a tier um super expansion jutsu as well ah uh, no now a is getting super crowded oh no but i like when he just grew to be the size of a full forest against Jirobo? Like, are you kidding me? That was, that was awesome, dude. That was one of the coolest things in that whole fight. Jirobo's Earth Dome is a C. Uh, Jirobo sucks. Butterfly Bomb. I, like, I know a lot of people really like Butterfly Bomb. Um, it's all right. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. Kido Maru's bow is C. His spiderweb jutsu is neat, but I couldn't find any, like, panels in the manga that, like, effectively captured the whole entire thing. 
and it's more like multiple jutsu than just one jutsu i would put that in b but just his bow like yeah no that's a c tier jutsu if i've ever seen one multiple fist barrage can yeah it, it belongs it belongs in b i think uh, i also couldn't find any panels in the manga that were like good illustrations of sakon and yukon's keke genkai uh which i would put in a because of how much i like sakon but just multiple fist barrage you know what? No, this, this goes in c it's just him like okay you know what no i'm not i'm not being fair this, this this belongs in b it is cool you getting punched by like four different fists at once well like yeah b i think b is a fair place for it um now some people are gonna be like baffled that i put this in a but man when kiba did this for the first time I got so hype, okay? I know some of you guys are gonna be like, really, dude? It's in the same tier as, like, the eight gates, but... I mean, I know it doesn't... Like, it's not responsible for any cool moments later, but, like, even like even the panel that I used here of this gigantic dog just staring down Sakon and Yukon? Come on, man. Like, tell me it's not eight here. It's awesome. Rashomon is a... I guess this falls under the summoning jutsu, but I thought it was, like, unique enough that I could put it as like its own distinct entry so yeah it's it's going in b now all of taiyuya's stuff is a tier uh i've already talked about how cool i think taiyuya is well you know what i don't know for no her genjutsu is a never mind what was i thinking i've already talked about how cool i think taiyuya is and i know that i'm really inflating a tier now but like man she like all her stuff is just sick i think more than a lot of the sound form members she feels like one of Orochimaru's henchmen, you know, she and Sakon feel like really like they feel really like freaky and like like evil, you know, because she summons these like gigantic demon things and then sends these. I don't even know how to describe these. They're like ghosts. They're like ghosts with a bunch of mouths like covering their body that like eat your chakra. And then this illusion where you just watch yourself melt while you're held in place by thin wires like, ah, oh, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna be told that these don't belong in A. Uh, Kimi Maro's Kek again, Kai. A is getting really crowded, but yeah, yeah. If Crystal Ice Mirrors can be here, then so can Kimi Maro's Kek again, Kai. Uh, Sand Tsunami, I want to put an A, but it's not that cool. I thought it was sick when I was a kid, but the the only reason is because it's just sort of like a standard thing that Gara can do by the end of the series. And you see Gara do a bunch of other crazy stuff with sand. So like there's really nothing like the moment where Kiba turns into his two-headed dog for the first time, but Gara like constantly one-ups the sand tsunami. So I don't feel comfortable putting it in an A. I kind of want to put Vermilion or Sengon and Chidori Lament in S tier, right? Because these were just like so cool when they were used for the first time but i also kind of want to put them in a but like at that point like why even include them so i'm gonna put them down here at the bottom and let it sit with me for a little bit and uh if i change my mind then i guess they'll go in s tier but if not they're probably gonna chill out in a tier with all these guys Flying Raijin, easy S tier, uh, was number three, I think, on my top five favorite jutsu of all time, as it should be. Theta's clay jutsu is a B. Both of these, I think, belong in B tier. Uh, same with the, like, ceiling jutsu of the Akatsuki, especially because it turns out to be completely unnecessary. Like, Obito just sucks them into the statue with chains later, and, like, so does Madara, so it just sort of seems a bit weird that they have to get, like, nine people together whole day just sucking the, uh, tailed beast out of the Jinchuriki. I don't know. I mean, it does look really cool, but, you know, that aside, it, it's a victim of, uh, one of the worst things about Naruto, which is the retcon. This jutsu sucks. It's just a fart of air that you do with your hand. It's just a fart of air that you make with your hand. <laughs> I guess C tier is more fair for it, but I I don't really like it that much. A Sakujaku belongs in A. I don't like it as much as the Hidden Lotus, but it is really, really cool. Iron Sand, um... So at first I thought this was like an A jutsu, but I think B is a more fair placement for it because it's like just Gara's sand thing, but like black. 
What? <laughs> nah, you know what? That... I just realized that looks sick, and it's also more like rigid, and there's a whole lot of angles in a lot of the iron sand jutsu. So yeah, it's it's cool enough that I feel confident placing it in A. Um, Chikamatsu's ten puppets are like they're really cool, but I don't know if they're A rank. So yeah, they they're, they belong in B tier. Uh, performance of a hundred puppets is the coolest puppet jutsu ever used of all time. Period. There, you just I won't. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. Kakashi's Kamui is A tier, right? I like it a lot, but I don't like it as much as Obito's comp. Super Beast Scroll is like C. Like I like Sai, but, um, and, and this Jutsu seemed cool conceptually, but then like for pretty much the whole series, it was just the same thing over and over. And the last he uses it in pretty creative ways, but um, this is not Sai's the last Jutsu. This is just his regular Super Beast Scroll stuff and it sucks. I want to put Chakra Gun in A because like, Naruto just firing this massive mouth laser and blowing up Orochimaru's triple Rashomon was one of the coolest things I'd ever seen when I was... Did I watch this for the first time when I was a teenager? Or was I still, like, 11 or 12? I don't know. But whenever when I was whatever age, it was really cool to look at. But I don't think it's as cool as all these other things. So, in B rank you go. Chidori Nagashi. Easy A rank. Kidan's Joshin Jutsu is neat, but it's not one of my favorites. So, I'm going to stick it in B. Uh, same with Kakazu's Jutsu, right? Like, as, as much as I like Kakazu, I don't like him enough to put his Jutsu in A, so. Ross and Shuriken, I think, is, well, hmm. It's on the low end of A, because it is cool, but, like, my thing is, Naruto took way too long to learn it. He should have known this coming into Shippuden, because at the beginning of Shippuden, it felt like Jiraiya hadn't really taught him anything, but, um, Still, that's not really the fault of the Jutsu. So, Ross and Shuriken, you, you, you can hang out here in A with all the other big boys. Hydrification. Um, so, we get to turning himself in the water is nice. Yeah. I want to put it in C because it's not really, like, used that well. But, no, nah, th that's not fair to we get to. He belongs in B. Jugo Senjutsu. Like, I like Jugo. And this is not a knock against him as a character. But his whole gimmick pisses me off because it... Like, the curse mark felt like this weird forbidden, like, black magic that Orochimaru had created. Um, and then it's, it just, like, it's just all from this one guy. And it's also, like, nature energy and, like, sage mode or whatever, too. It, like, it just feels, it just cheapens the curse mark. And that makes me very unhappy, so. Like, stripped of that, I'd probably put it in B. But because of the implications it has in its relationship with one of my favorite jutsu in the series, I... Nah, I gotta slap it down in C tier. C2 Dragon is just a bigger version of Datara's C2, uh, C1 Bird, so it, like, I, I don't like it. It's, it's going in C. C4 is, um, also cool hypothetically, but it doesn't do anything to Sasuke, and, and it doesn't look cool enough to make up for that, so I think it belongs in C. Now, C0, I feel comfortable putting in A tier. Because even though Sasuke lives through it, it was really shocking when Deidara just killed himself because of how angry Sasuke made him in that fight. And, I mean, like, that explosion is so massive. It, it was like, like, it's hard not to respect him after that. So, yeah, I think A, place, a, a is a fair place to put that. Uh, Rinnegan, easy peasy S tier. Massive Rasengan is, like, it's a B. Uh my main thing with it is like the whole thing about the Rasengan is that it's like strong because it's chakra like condensed into a small space and then dry is just like yeah but also I can do a massive gigantic huge like mega Rasengan so like that why even include that as like a a clause of the jutsu if you know what I mean it like it's sort of like Jugo's thing with the the curse mark but th that said this looks way cooler than jugo senjutsu does so i don't mind putting it in b tier prey to path absorption is um is okay uh b tier i think is where it belongs the six paths technique is probably a tier you know i think s is where that belongs amaterasu is also s i really like it um Dragon Flame Jutsu, except not the same name, 
is um yeah it's b it's not as cool as the original fireball jutsu just because like it like when you see it it's not as like nice to look at as the fireball jutsu is the first time you see it but you know i think i might actually stick the fireball jutsu down in b now that i think about it i might move you back up later but for now you're you're gonna you're hanging out in the cool but not that cool category uh ooh, here we go all right Susano is uh, also an S rank Jutsu. I really like it. And um, Lariat, kind of want to put it in A, but I don't know if it's as cool as all of these Jutsu. So I think B is a fair place for it. Karin's healing Jutsu is like, I think it's a really cool idea. Um, but like, you know, it's not like awesome, but it, you know, it's it's interesting enough that I think it deserves to be in B. The soul. The soul absorption thing of the human path is like really weird to me, especially because it's like never taken advantage of. So here's the thing, right? I think this could be an A tier jutsu, but it's only used on like NPCs. And Nagato almost uses it to kill Naruto and B, but he doesn't because of course he can't. They're the main, like Naruto's the main character. So, you know, like it's like, yeah, this is cool, but why even put it in the series if you're just never going to, like, actually have people die to it? You know? King of Hell is sort of the same thing. It's also just... So, the King of Hell is just the human path, but, like, a summon. And it's all... It's, like, the same thing. Like, you just... It just kills, like, NPCs. That's all it's responsible for. So, you know, like... Um... Conan's paper jutsu is so sick. It's such a weird jutsu, especially for like, like, you know, after Itachi, Kisame, Deidara, and Sasori, and then like, you know, Hidan and Kakazu, like all these people with like crazy powers. Like two of them are immortal. Um, two of them are like, you know, like Sasori can, you know, like blow up this gigantic cave just with like sand and has all these crazy poison contraptions and killed the third Kazekage. And Deidara can do this and then Itachi and Kisame speak for themselves. Then you just tell me that, like, the right hand to the boss of the Akatsuki's power is, like, that's what it is. And it's it's actually surprisingly cool. So, yeah. Uh, Bansho Tenin. A rank. Shinra Tensei. Also A rank. Sage Mode is easy S rank. So cool. And uh, same with Chibaku Tensei. Rene Rebirth is gonna go and see only because like all of the consequences that came from the pain arc get immediately undone by this jutsu, right? Like Kakashi, dead. Uh, all these other characters, dead. Except actually they come back to life. So you only think that they're dead for a little bit before they're revived. And it's just like, it feels kind of cheap and cheesy. Raikage's lightning armor is cool, but not that cool. So I'm going to stick it in B. But the Liger Bomb? Oh, man. it It's awesome. Definitely A. Enton Kagatsuchi is uh, S rank, just like Amaterasu. Lava Style is... You know, hold on. I'm going to delete F tier because there's no way I'm going to fill up. Like, there, there's barely even, like, a distinction between them. I We don't need it, so... um. Anyway, uh, Lava Style is just like, you're like, oh, cool. This person who has like this cool blend between like Fire Style and Water Style, you know, I can't wait to see how it's used later in the war arc where every character has the opportunity to like, you know, show off their stuff. And then it's just like, oh, sh it, it's worthless. Okay, well, that sucks. Particle Style is B. Obito's Kamui is S. So... Izanagi, the way, like, Donzo used it, is probably S. But just because of the weird retcon, where, like, Itachi said that all of the Uchiha clan was using it, even though you needed, like, six paths powers to do it, I'm not putting it in S. I gotta stick it in A. Uh, Koro Matsukami is... We never see it, is the thing. 
but it is what broke Itachi out of like Kabuto's control. But see, if we'd actually seen it used, I'd probably put it in A or S. But since we don't really know anything about it, uh, I feel more comfortable putting it in B. And uh, the reverse Tetragram Seal is D rank, like hard D rank, only because in Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution, this was the dumbest thing in the whole game. It just killed you in like one hit. This like Super Odom or Sengon Mega Barrage or whatever it's called. Um, I feel okay putting it in A rank. It is pretty cool to see Karama just get pounded by like 600 billion Rasengan. You go here. You go here. Hirudora is... Is Hirudora S or is it A? Um, ah, it's probably A rank. Super Water Shark Bomb Jutsu. Yeah, you're B. Laser Circus, you're B. Planetary Rasengan. Grand Sand Mausoleum would be so much cooler if it had actually been like effectively used to seal any like big like threatening like boss characters in the war but it like no one major got taken down by this so as much as i want to put it in a it's going in b the clam genjutsu i'm sticking in c just because like i like it's so confusing and it's so hard to follow and the mizukage has to sit there and like explain it to you like eight times and you're still like wait i don't i don't know man Majestic Destroyer Flame, though, right? Is it S? It's probably more like A rank. Ten Guy Shinsei, though, that's an S rank jutsu. When Madara first summoned this meteor, yeah, it, it speaks for itself. I don't have to explain to you guys why I'm putting that there. Um, you go there. Lightning Cable. Uh, you go here. So, uh, Susano Kagatsuchi is um. I mean, if Susano is S. Amaterasu is S, and Kagetsuchi is S, then, yeah, th <laughs> this one has to be S as well, right? Um, Yasuka Magatama, I, um, yeah, that's a B. It's, it's kind of cool, but it's not, like, that cool. Um, so I kind of feel like a, a bit of a, a dork for, uh, putting both Mitotic Regeneration and 100 Healings on this, uh, in this template. Because, I mean, I'm gonna put them in the same tier, and even though they are different, they're similar enough that the fact that they're in the same tier is like, what, why even put both of them in then? But, uh, whatever. Um, Kabuto's dragon thing is like really weird. So, like, it, the fact that it is a big red dragon has nothing to do with the way the jutsu functions, right? It's some weird, like, high pitched sound jutsu that's supposed to mess with the uh the opponent's um senses and you wouldn't get that impression from first looking at the red dragon here so like i mean i, th I think the jutsu is cool i just i don't think it makes any sense izanami i am putting in b tier because while i like the idea of an infinite loop genjutsu the reason for its creation like the story tachi tells about the uchiha spamming izanagi afterwards like to justify its existence is really stupid it also is a bit too strong. It got pulled out of nowhere, never been mentioned before. All of a sudden, conveniently, when they have to beat Kabuto without killing him, Itachi has a genjutsu that uh, works on people who are immune to visual and auditory genjutsu. Like, I, I don't know, man. It seems pretty deus ex machina to me. So as much as I want to put it in A because I think it's cool, like like the, uh, the loop aspect of it, um, everything surrounding it, is uh is a bit stinky so i'm gonna stick it in b perfect susano uh don't not even gonna make a case for it i doubt anybody's surprised that i'm putting it in an s uh hmm. cho mini biju dama uh yeah well like a small tailed beast bomb is cool but like so at this point it wasn't doing serious damage to anybody it was pretty much the same thing as a rasengan like, as far as utility was concerned, by the time it started being used, so I'm gonna stick it in B. Uh, you can go in B. This should go in B, just because it's, like, it's just, but it's just so cool. So I'm sticking it in A. Uh, Majestic Attire Susano is going in S. Letting the Ninetales wear the Susano as armor is really cool, and I'm not gonna be told otherwise, so S is exactly where it belongs. Uh, the Wood Golem... Is either A or B. Like, compared to the other stuff Hashirama can do, this isn't 
super like unique or impressive so i think b is a fair place to put it but this the gigantic thousand armed buddha uh, i i don't even remember the proper name for it but it it's so over the top and ridiculous uh, I don't know if I want to put it in nah, nah, nah. S is a fair place for it. This thing is pretty awesome. Um, Human Boulder Yo-Yo. I always like seeing Eno Shikamaru and Choji working together and doing cool team combination stuff. And uh, this was a pretty unique example of that. So yeah, A is a fair place for that. Um, Ten Tails Chakra Mode, easy S. Repeated explosive tags is probably, yeah, best, uh, best at A. Um, Anton Ross and Shuriken. Ah, mmm. Mmm. A makes the most sense to me. Um, Biju Sage Mode. Well, since Sage Mode is an S and Biju Mode is an A, um... I don't even know if I want to rank this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the save for later pile. Um, same with Senjutsu Susano. I don't know how I feel about this. This one might be a B. This one was kind of this one was kind of weird. Not not as bad, just that you know, it's not. I didn't see this and go, oh, that's cool. I was like, so that that's neat, but it's also kind of stupid. The Sword in a Boko, I think it makes sense to put it in A, because it's said to be powered by the wielder's force of will, and so it makes sense that Naruto and Sasuke are able to beat Obito in the moment that his resolve to continue on with the Eye of the Moon plan gets shaken up. You know, there's this split second where he has all of these thoughts about what could have been, how his life could have turned out if he hadn't followed after Madara. And it's because he has this brief moment of doubt that Naruto and Sasuke are able to break through the Sword of Ninoboko and rip the Ten Tails out of him. I think that that was a pretty cool way to have him lose. Even though I know a lot of people were pretty sick of uh, talk no jutsu by this point. Night Guy is... Um, everybody likes this jutsu. This is like... <laughs> There's no way I could put it anywhere, anywhere beneath us. Magma style Ross and Shuriken, um, yeah, you can go here. Maybe here. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I really like the idea of Naruto combining Biju Chakra with the Ross and Shuriken, because the Rasengan was already, it was already supposed to be really hard to combine it with an element, and, like, the fact that Naruto was able to do that was a mark of his, like, genius or whatever. Like, even Minato couldn't do it, and he created the Rasengan. But, so then you tell me Naruto not only adds wind to the Rasengan, he adds lava to the wind added to the Rasengan. And, and lava's not, like, a regular nature transformation either. That's the, that's the reason why this is so wacky. Lava is a Keke Genkai combination of two nature transformations fire and earth so even though uh there it was supposed to be like borderline impossible to add a nature element to a rasengan naruto has effectively added three of them to this one fire earth and wind and it just it all just sort of comes out of nowhere because he gets his like sage of six paths powers it's never addressed it's never pointed out how weird this is and so while it does look really nice, I don't know if I think it makes that much sense, so C is probably where this belongs. Six Path Sage Mode, on the other hand, this looks really cool. Uh, Naruto's version looks awesome, and so does Madara's. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm okay with this placement. Uh, Limbo is either A or S. Um, well, I made it an honorable mention on my top five jutsu list, so I think I should probably put it in S tier. Uh, Amino Tejikara. Sasuke's Renegon Teleportation. If it isn't in S, it's very close to being in S, because every time Sasuke uses it, it's for something that's just, like, really cool. Uh, the only good fight in, like, the whole Boruto anime is Naruto and Sasuke versus Momoshiki. And one of the coolest moments in that fight features this jutsu, so I'd feel a little bit bad if I didn't put it up here. But again, S tier is getting really crowded, so mm, I'm gonna put you in A. I feel bad about it, but you're really close to S, I promise. Um... Magnet style Rasengan might be in C for the same reasons as the lava style Rasenshuriken, but... To be fair, this isn't the same thing as adding an element to 
a Rasengan that's already had an element added to it. This is just adding an element to a Rasengan. But but it is also, it, just like Lava, it is a Keke Genkai element. Nobody's sure what the elements that make up a uh, Magnet release are. I'm pretty sure it's Wind and Earth. And wait, actually, if part of Magnet release is Wind, why wouldn't it have any of the traits of the Rosenshriken, right? Like, like, that's the other thing. This is basically just a regular Rasengan with, like, Shukaku patterns on it. So, I don't know. This, this is kind of weird. Um, Onyx Chidori is pretty much the same thing as Chidori Lament. So, I'm gonna stick it here at the back for a little bit. Infinite Tsukuyomi. Um, before I found out that it turned everybody into Zetsus, I would have put it in A or S. Like, I can totally see how they came to the conclusion that this was, like, a, uh, a morally righteous thing to do to put everyone under the influence of the infinite Tsukuyomi. But then I found out that even if they had succeeded, it would have just turned everybody into Zetsus, which is stupid. So I'm putting it in B. Um, all of Kaguya's Jutsu, I want to say, are S. Not only are they like really powerful, but they're also super cool to look at and they feel pretty alien compared to a lot of the other jutsu uh, seen throughout the series. Like, you know, the portal she opens when she travels between dimensions is this weird, like, is this weird shape that I don't know how to describe that's made out of, like, multiple squares. It's super cool. So, yeah, I, I, I don't... So this is sort of like a hybrid of both Kamui Shuriken and Kakashi's Perfect Susano, and, uh... This is stupid, right? Like, that Kakashi got a perfect Susano is kind of dumb. And it did sort of get pulled out of thin air. If not for that, I would put this in S. But since it is pretty deus ex machina E, gonna have to put it in A. Uh, final Truth Seeking Orb, you're, you're a B. The, um, Six Paths Chibaku Tensei. Uh, so... Mechanically, it's the exact same thing as regular Chibaku Tensei, except on a larger scale. But this this panel right here where they seal Kaguya looks cool enough to keep me from putting it in B just because, like, again, it's the same thing as regular Chibaku Tensei right here. Uh, that, that's what I want to do, but, but again, it looks so cool that I won't feel awful for sticking it in A here. Sasuke's final Susano and Infra's Arrow are both S. Not only are these two of the coolest looking things in the whole series, but, like, the process through which Sasuke, uh, created these jutsu is also super sick. Like, he summoned all of the Biju satellites and absorbed the chakra from all of the tailed beasts inside, and it made him so much more powerful that it that it transformed his Susano. And if his Susano had ended up looking stupid after the transformation, that would have been one thing. But it uh, it definitely didn't. This is one of the coolest looking things I've ever seen ever in my entire life. And now um, the six pads ultra big ball Ross and Shuriken. Um, I don't think it's as cool as. Indra's arrow or the final Susano, but I do think it's cool enough to stick it in A tier. I guess half of this is also Naruto's like three-headed six-armed avatar, which is also really cool. I kind of want to put an S for that, but uh, no, A is where this belongs. Now, do I really feel like ranking any of these? Um... Uh, not, not really.